آخوز به خبل چه بوس بوس فرگمان آل گلیله کسب و امونه شهش می تو زهاه و خسر کاریس فت به تو و هی به هی به شهش و دار به سخرت به هش کرد به خیلیت آب به خیلی نیکلیم شانیم یل به یعن ملخود راو کیا تمیلخ باشتیا قدود اینو نیز کی کین یا ساتا ملخ آقو راو به تو لاسود مرچون مرچون ایش و ایش וגם בשתי המלכו, או עצו משני משתה של נשים, בית המלכות אשר למלך אחשוורוש, ביום השביעי כתוב מהר לב המלך, ויין אמר למהומון, ביסטו, חרבונו בכתוביו ואף גתנו אף גתו זה טבע, מה זה כן? זה טבע? זה טבע חרפס. שביעת הסרסים המשתים על פני המלך חשוורוש להביא את ושתי המלכו לפני המלך בכתר מלכות לערות עמים והשרים את יופיו כי טובת מרא היא לבוא בדבר המלך אשר ביעת הסריסים ויקטוף המלך מאוד וחמותו ורבו ויאמר המלך לחרומים ידי העיתים כי כן דיבר המלך לפני חול ידי הדת ודין, ואקרי ולוב כשנו, שתר עד מטרו, תרשיש מרס מרצגו ממוכן, שבעת שבעות יוצריהם פרס, ומדי ראי המלך, פני המלך, היושבים ראשונו, אל מלכות כדעת, מה לעשות, ומה שתי אבל, ומה שתי... במלכו ושתי, אשר לא עשתו את מר המלך אחשוורוש ביד השרים ויאמר ממוכן לפני המלך והשרים לא על המלך לבדו אז נראה עשתו ושרי המלכו כי הכל השרים על ועל כל העמים אשר בכל מדינות המלך אחשוורוש כי יצא דבר המכה על כל הנשים להזבות בעליהן רק we could not want to we והנהן באומרו מלך אחשוורוש אמר להביא את ושתי המלכה לפניו ולא באו ביום הזה נהדי תאמרנו צרות פרס ומדי אשר שמעו את דבר המלכה לכל שרי המלכה וכדאי ביזיון וקצוף אם על המלך טוב יצא דבר מלכות מלפניו ויכתוב בדת פרס ומדי שאלו תבוא ושתי לפני המלך אחשווי ראש ומלכותו ייתן המלך לרעותו הטובו ממנו ונשמע פתגם המלך אשר יעשה לבכל מלכותו כי רבו היא וכל הנשים ייתנו יקר לבעליהן למי גדול ועד קטן וייטף הדבר בעיני המלך והשרים ויעץ המלך כדבר ממוכן, וישלח סופרים, הכל מדינות המלך, אל מדינה ומדינה, ככתובו, ועל עם, 
ועם כלשונו להיות כל איש שורר בביתו ומדבר כלשון עמו. יש כוח. דוקטור שונפלד, when were you born? I was born November 8, 1925 Very special privilege to, uh, yeah. to read the Megillah with you. Chag Pulim Sameach. It is really sad to me to see that the children don't have this rich heritage that I was privileged to get. The joy that was contained in our holidays. The idea is a fachbo, a fachbo, the kulabo, to understand it, not necessarily because of God, but because the wisdom in it. To keep turning it and turning it. As you know, I would come with a, when I could go to the synagogue, and I would take the Sidur and the to and the Humash. I spent most of my time not in the Sidur but in the Humash. To seek more and more understanding what there is in the and should I be given the opportunity to live longer, I know I can find more and more ways mm. in which we as a people handle problems that are still problems today. Yes. You know, I've told you many times that even though you've, uh, you've lived from this point, uh, all of Jewish history, from, uh, from Munkach, through yes. the worst of times, and, and, and to this place, that uh, you're not about the past, you are one of the people I know who looks more deeply into the future than anyone I've seen. You write, and you think, and you project a Jewish future that uh, continues to live and thrive and change. We all could do that. We all could do that. For I believe in the adage to Torah said, V'chal mm. not only in the past. To live by the, the commandments. No, to live by the ideas. By the ideas. Let me exclude the commandments as such. <laughs> but live by the ideas which are contained in there. The interesting thing to me is always the fact that how the 2,000 and 3,000 years ago, we already were dealing with issues of which today we Hmm. And at the present time, as I said to you, I'm writing about the relationship between justice and, 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 and uh, law, uh, between a dean and, 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 and tzedek, uh, and the relationship between tzedek and tzedakah, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the principles of justice as being the supreme principles that stands even according to our legends, stands even above God. That even God is subject to the principles of which he had. This is part of our co covenant. When it says, you know, we have a, a covenant which is a, an agreement. I will do this, you will do that. But above us stands the idea about the principle of justice. Hmm. name uh, is Din, farther up than, right. than what the law commands. That is, a, we are kind of like, an, uh, I perceive it as being uh, the, the principle of justice 
God giving the law based upon the principle of justice and giving it to the Jews. Mm. So this this shows us that the most important part of that all laws, if it's to be a just law, mm-hmm. it must be must be uh, bound to the principle of both economic and legal justice, bound to the principles that all people maintaining themselves, you know, whether we have a payer and lack it and so on, and uh, you know, and then after that, you know, do not honor the rich for his wealth. I got a sword. Behind Should we take a moment? Me. No, just I would move. So this is what motivated me most of my life. Is how do we transmit this ideal? Because that ideal has to be transmitted if we want to have to bring about the ideal of what we have, the Hayab Akhrit Hayamim. There will be no Akhrit Hayamim without understanding this relationship. No end of days kind of time, messianic messianic time, Uh, if we can't understand justice. That is, and I feel that you as a rabbi, that we have done injustice to all our rabbinim. Mm. Injustice, unmitigated injustice. I don't want the rabbi to be a, a, a the treasure trove of, uh, of idiotic, sometimes idiotic <laughs> customs, you know? Only sometimes. <laughs> well, but that should be assumed what we had in the past, that the rabbis have taken over the principle by which we, that we had, the ideas that we had, Associate not, with the not, to tell, not to tell <laughs> what time will bring, but to be the guardian of the principle of justice. We don't have any guardians of, of that principle, mm. and that's what, what, what we need. Uh, I've done my duty for today. Dr. Okay. Schoenfeld, it, as I said, it's an honor not only reading the Megillah, which is written in the parchment and has to be read exactly the same way, but, um, but the ever-changing thoughts that you bring to the Torah um, and the call. Many of the people who see this video are also rabbis and Jewish leaders and Jewish educators and Jewish innovators. And the idea that, uh, that what you, you, you see, want us to be prophets. You see, if you really want to make the Torah what it is, the Torah is a, an idea that is not valid only for today or in the past, but for future. Uh, it is not a, a storied piece of writing, as some people want to say, you know, as, as the, the, uh, the time when they came back from the, from the uh, Babylonian exile, uh, and we were told to make a, a, a fence around the Torah. The Torah should not be fenced. Hmm. The mm. Torah is not in heaven or beyond the the sea or beyond a wall. It is for us to understand that from the to bring it to our present day life. There is the essentiality of human coexistence, the ability to coexist. I am very affected by the this holiday that's coming for weekend. Mm. For the holiday 
If you are asking, were we really slaves? What does it matter? Are we, did we really go through the desert? I can't imagine that two million people, even today, could go through the desert, you know? But yeah. that's not the important part. The important part is why our forefathers learned from, the, from this idea. And what they were talking about is human rights. Mm. The first statement of human rights, not legal necessarily legal rights, but the rights, what we call the duties and the responsibility, duties, responsibilities, and, suppose, and privileges that we, sh as human beings, you know, we should have uh, throughout the universe, you know? Yes. That was the first statement of what made us Jews. Yes. Yeah. And that's. So that rest on Shabbat is not for Jews alone. Mm. And it's not even for slaves alone. Mm. It in, also includes as for animals. We are so different from other religious teachings who do not believe that there is a soul in animals. There is life in the animals, so therefore they too must be given their rights, you know? And how much more so every human being? How much more so every human being, you know? And, uh, you know, the, the whole idea of not, not to do pain, not to cause pain for animals, how much so all chicane people. This is what we stand for. This is what we are, or should be, rather. Yes. And this is what we should teach. It's not the prayer. Oh, I'm not saying the prayers are bad. I consider the real prayer is the model of the real prayer is Chama. Hmm. Chana. Hannah. Yes, and when she came to Ailey, past Ailey, you know? Yes. To, she prayed and, from her heart. And my grandmother took that one. Every Shabbat she would open the window and she would speak directly to God. You know? She had a discourse. Tilel. Mm. That's the real word from praying. Moving on the lips of dis discourse with God. You and I, God, you and I, we have a covenant between us. Mm. Are you holding up your end? Mm. And if you don't hold up your end, why should we hold up our end? But we have to go on the principles that God holds up his end, waiting for us. Mm. to hold up our end in the di disbursement of justice. Even after everything that you've, you've seen in the world, what does it mean for God to hold up God's end? It is the model that he was put into God. I don't... I, I really understood God or the ideals when I read Feuerbach and who dared to trans to point out the flaws mm. of anthropomorphism. Mm. But how but but instead putting the emphasis upon idealism. So God isn't just like us as a human form, but something that inspires us. Inspires us that he embodies all that that we should embody. All that we should embody. So in the Megillah it says, La Yehudim Haita Ura Vesimcha. And I just, uh, I think that, uh, which means that uh, we should all, it says the Jews, but I think from what you're saying, it really is a way of saying that all of us should have ora simcha sason v'ikar light, joy, um, light honor. Yes. 
uh, that short span of time that we call life, we should emphasize, be joyful in it. Mm. I, my grandfather was a, a chosid, a very devout chosid. And, uh, and the whole idea of joy in the Hasidic tale, if we can take that one, I, I think that's what really turned Buber into the Hasidic mm. perspective. Uh, that for there where there is joy, there is no hatred. Mm. Where there is joy, there is no hatred. No hatred. So if there's hatred, it's not really joy. I mean, look at this. The expression of hatred the angels tried to have expressed during the crossing of the Dead Sea. And God rebuked them. Mm. Mm. Joy is not given to us alone. Mm. It's a universal gift from God to all people. Mm. That should be the something that ties us together. May we all have this light and joy. You know, to, to your wife. I will. You know, Ad